So this is the thermocouple which is inside the thermo well and this time you find that there are two wires coming out. This is unlike the RTD where we had seen that it was a three wire RTD. So three terminal wires had been available for the RTD connection. Now among these two wires you have a yellow color lead which is the positive wire and you have a blue color lead which is the negative wire. Remember that thermocouples provide DC output voltage not AC. So one should be careful about the terminal to which we connect the digital voltmeter or the analog voltmeter. The polarity should be kept in mind. Now in this part of the experiment what we will do is we will keep the hot junction, hot junction is right over here and the cold junction is over here. So we will keep both the hot junction and the cold junction at room temperature and try to verify what happens to the output voltage, whether it becomes zero volt or not. So with this DVM we are going to the voltmeter range to 200 millivolt. So this is 200 millivolt and now we connect red to this positive terminal of the thermocouple and the black lead of the multimeter to this blue colored negative wire for the thermocouple and so you can see that if TH and TC are at the same temperature which is room temperature at the moment then the output voltage is equal to 0 volt. So here we have dipped the thermocouple in a process tank. You can think of this as a process tank. So right now this beaker is containing water and we have heated it up. So what we want to do is now we find that the hot junction is at process temperature and the cold junction is at ambient. So we want to look at the variation of output voltage as provided by this particular thermocouple. Note that this is a J type thermocouple which means that the constituents are made of iron and constantin. So as before we make the connection of red to yellow and black to blue. And currently what you find is that the DC voltage that is available from this thermocouple for this particular temperature value in the process tank is 1.2 millivolts. And as temperature rises you will find that this value will keep on increasing. So it has increased to 1.2 volts. From 1.2 volts it has increased to 1.3 to 1.4 and going up to 1.5. We are going to demonstrate the polarity issue. So right about see that red to yellow and black to blue shows around 1.7 millivolts. Now if I flip the terminals that means yellow to black and blue to red you will find that the polarity also flips. This is minus of 1.7 millivolts. This time around we are going to look at the thermocouple drainage kit for conducting this experiment. For that purpose we have placed our thermocouple at process temperature and we have connected the two leads to these two ends of the thermocouple trainer kit and if we turn on this trainer kit 
without cold junction compensation what you find is that the thermocouple provides a millivolt of 2.3 and the corresponding temperature is around 39 degree centigrade this is uncompensated but if we go for cold junction compensation which is how a thermocouple conditioning circuit should be done what we find is that the actual process temperature was 68 degree centigrade now as temperature keeps on increasing you will find that this millivolt will also increase and correspondingly this temperature display will keep on increasing the signal conditioning portion is inside this trainer kit and we will discuss about them in details and analyze the circuit in our subsequent videos so see that this is around 2.5 millivolt and temperature has risen to 70 or 71 degree centigrade so these were the set of readings that were obtained previously and you can see that the compensation was provided for ambient temperature by the cold junction compensation circuit where we found that the compensated temperature was 68 degree centigrade while the uncompensated temperature was 39 degree centigrade so the ambient temperature was 29 degree centigrade so the electronics module was providing for compensation for this value of ambient temperature and as we proceed forward you will find that an additional temperature sensor which was used in this trainer kit was AD590 it's an IC temperature sensor which is used for this cold junction compensation circuit.